Okay, so here's an example of a package design that I've created in TechSoft Designer. So at the moment I'm working in A3 size because we want to be able to print these out afterwards. So everything's got to be able to fit onto an A3 landscape sheet. Um, but basically it's a fairly simple design this one. Yours can be more complex if you want it to be. You've just got to make sure that everything lines up correctly. So if you look at this one, I've got glue tabs, which are these kind of white with the, with the um, angles on and those glue onto areas. So this one over here glues to this edge on the inside when I fold it up. This edge here glues against the underside of this one, this one underside of this one, this one will end up gluing up over here and so on. So the whole thing will fold up into a box. The top one will just tuck in. So I wouldn't bother gluing this one because that's how the chocolates will come in and come out. So what have I got so far? Well, I've, I've basically just drawn rectangles for mine and I've used um, made pathways to put fills in and things like this. But this is just a gradient fill. So if I want to go and have a look at this one and look at my property of it, I've just chosen a fill. I've gone for a, a fill which is the shape of a star. And I said six sides on my star. And I've chosen a few colors. So I've gone for green and red and green. So I'm sticking with a Christmas kind of color theme. Um, so that's a gradual fill, a gradient fill on that one. These other ones are exactly the same. They're just fills. So this one's got a, a pure red fill in. This one's got a gradient fill and so on. Um, these images here are just off the internet. They're just things to make it look a little bit more realistic. So they're just some barcodes. We've got a little bit of text explaining that these chocolates are made in Australia. And then I've got, I've used a nice font to put the word grannies and I've just duplicated it three times. I've gone for a, a white, white text and I've just duplicated it a number of times. So what I want to do now is I want to add to this some logos to make it look more interesting. So for the last task, you were designing your own logo. I also, um, I did two, I did one which is the main logo, and I did another one which is just an image that looked like a snowflake. And the reason for that is to give some extra decoration because this is supposed to be a Christmas design. So what do I want to do? I'm going to import now the PNG files that I made in the last task. So if you remember, in the last task I exported PNGs, now I'm importing them. So I'll come File and Import File, and I'm looking for my logo. So I've got a couple to choose from because I made them more than once. But if I go for my one that says Mr. M Logo, you can see I chose black as the background when I exported it. I'm going to say Open. Now I get a box asking me what to do. So what do I need to think about? Well, first of all, I need to think about the size of it. So how big do I want it to be on the page? Now I can resize it afterwards, but I reckon it's probably going to be about 80 mil across. Before I click OK though, I want to check and look at my color properties. So I'm going to go into my color properties and I'm going to say I want it to be transparent at the background. What color do I want to be transparent? I want the black. So I'm going to say choose color and I'm going to choose black. That's why when I did the export from the last task, I chose black. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click OK again. So now everything that was black will now be see-through. Okay. Now if I can move this across here, put it roughly in the middle, I can see that's a bit big for what I want. So if I hold down Shift button and drag from the corner, I can resize this and reposition it by grabbing that middle yellow um, control handle. So I might make it a tiny bit bigger than that, and just center that again. Okay, that's only roughly done. I could do it more accurately. I'm going to make a second copy. And on my second copy, I'm going to put it over on this side. But I'm going to make this one a fair bit smaller. Because this is the back of my box. Put that one roughly in the middle. So I've got my logos in. You can see now what was black before has gone transparent. If I zoom in, you can see that looks nice around the edges. It's nice and clear. And I'm going to bring in, in exactly the same way, my snowflake. So I'm going to go File, Import again. This time I'm going to choose my uh, snowflake, not my JPEG one. I need the one with a black background, which is the PNG. The reason we use PNG is because we can have transparency in PNG files. Say open. Same thing. How big? I probably only want this one to be pretty small, maybe 20 mil. Okay, you can always measure on your ruler and see how big these things are going to look. Color properties again. Again, choose transparency. What color? I want the black to go transparent. So I choose the color black say OK, say OK again, and say OK again. And there's my little snowflake. 
So once I've got my snowflake, I can position it, I can make copies of them, and I can pop them around the different places to basically make this look much more Christmassy. Now you could have done this with anything. You could have made little Christmas trees, you could have made little Santa faces, whatever you like. Okay, but remembering, we're trying to make something that's going to be selling chocolates at Christmas time. So we want it to have a Christmas feel to it. So choice of colors and all that kind of stuff is quite important. Um, the more complex your design, so the more difficult the shape is, then you, you're likely to get better marks. But you need to make sure that you've done the sketch first so that when you cut it out and glued it, you know that it will actually go together. So things have to be the same sizes, okay? Otherwise it doesn't work. And that's the basic idea of how you make your own package design up for Granny's Chocolates. Good luck.